Hello, friends, and welcome back to Spark. Mr. C here. It's been a while since I've seen you. And um, we're going to get started this year. Uh, and as you know, you probably know that we're going to be doing Spark in two different sections. You'll have nine days with us this cycle, and then you'll go through the rest of your specials. And then sometime in November, you will have the second part of Spark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this first lesson and give you my expectations, let you know what, you know, the kind of things I expect about, you know, from you for this class. So a um, couple things about this the place that we're going to be doing this in. And we're going to be doing it in, in um, slides, Google Slides. And the way we're going to operate, the, there's kind of different ways you, you're going to have to do this in order to make it work. I want you to take a look up here. You see this present key? Now, you may be experts at this by now. I don't know. I just don't want to assume that you are. So I'll go over a little bit of it. Bear with me if you know this. Um, the best way to look at these slide presentations is in present mode. So when you come in here, if you click on present mode, it's going to blow up to the full screen. It's much easier to see on your Chromebooks. And sometimes some of the videos will start automatically. So it saves you the trouble of clicking on, you know, the little triangle. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is that there are times in our slides where you will have to get out of present mode in order to change something on the screen. Because sometimes you need to change something on the screen, then turn it into me so that I know your answers. Sometimes it'll be learn a little bit about you. Sometimes it'll be um, it'll be telling me what you know. So it'll be different things for different reasons. But you will not be able to change a slide if you're in present mode. So in order to get out of present mode, just go to your keyboard. Upper left hand side of your keyboard, you'll see an escape key. Click that escape key. Google Slides will go back down to a smaller form where you'll be able to change things on the screen. So that's a very important part of as we move forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into present mode and we're going to go through these really briefly just so that you understand what you're doing. Here's our beginning slide. This is uh, the first couple slides is remember this? from last year on my bulletin board. Uh, first couple slides is just going over the engineering design process, how you, uh, the process that you take to solve a problem by designing something. So go through these, read these things, and uh, kind of get them fresh back in your mind so that as you're working on some stuff in these nine days, you'll use this process. So here's the ask, here's the explore, modeling, you start to design something and make it. You got to evaluate it. Does it work? Does it not work? Uh, did, I, did I solve the problem with my product? So these are all things that you're going to have to. And then ultimately, now if we were in class, you and your group would, would explain to the class what you did and how you did it. In this particular forum, I may ask you to write a little bit about what you did. So either way, there's going to have to be some type of explanation involved. So we've got a first challenge here. Now, the things that you're going to need is really a bobby pin. And if you're not sure what a bobby pin is, you can ask your mom. I suspect that she's got a bobby pin. But know this. If you don't have a bobby pin in the house, use something else. It can be a clothes pin. It can be a safety pin. It can be a pencil. It can be anything that you have that is small or thin or light. And what we're going to do is this is Bobby. And of course, you know what his last name is, Pin, right? So this is Bobby. And he's going to have to um, jump from a, he's stuck up on a shelf. He's going to have to jump down. But you've got to save him because if he falls from the high shelf, he's going to hurt himself, maybe break one of his little bobby pin legs. So you've got to create some type of device that will slow him down. Okay. And this is basically an explanation of this. Okay. You need to 
figure out how you're going to slow your, your item down, bobby pin, safety pin, clothes pin, whatever. I'm going to slow it down, and I want you to start noodling on how you can do this. There's an unlimited amount of ways that you can slow him down. You pick the one that you design and show me. Okay. Now, here's typically what we're talking about. We're talking about a height of about five feet. And normally, under normal circumstances, without any type of advice to slow him down, it takes about one second for him to fall. So what I want to see you do is make something, attach it to Bobby, so that it takes longer than one second to fall. Here's the achievements. If you make him, if you keep him in the air for six seconds, at least six seconds, you get yourself a gold medal. You keep him in the air for four seconds, you get yourself a silver medal. Keep him in the air for two seconds, you get a bronze medal. If it still takes one second for him to fall, you'll get an honorable mention. That's okay. You crush it next time. Okay. I don't want you to spend days and days and days on this because, as you know, we've got Spark tomorrow. And I want to see your design and uh, I want to see what you did today. All right. So now here's what you're going to do you are going to um, take a picture of your device. And you're going to put it right here. You're going to paste it right here. Now, how do you do that? I'm going to show you that real quick. When you're on this slide, okay, come up here to insert. When you click on insert, if you click on image and go down to camera, if you click on the camera, it's going to give you a picture. It's going to give you your camera picture. When you're ready to take a picture of your item, you click the camera to take the picture and it will automatically drop it right into this slide. Okay, so you don't have to worry about taking pictures with your phones or your mom's phones or any of that stuff. Just do it right from your Chromebook. And again, get on this slide, click insert right up here, click on image, go down to camera, click on camera, take a picture of your creation and put it right in here, okay? All right, so important thing here, is that you turn it in. That's the most important thing here because that tells me that you are following the lesson and you are engaging in the lesson. Very important. We are grading. Uh, we're, we're doing normal grading this uh, first semester. So I want to make sure you were able to turn everything in. Okay. So with that, have fun. I'll see you tomorrow.